Hi, I'm Andy from Orange Glow Energy. I want to talk today about location of your room thermostat. Now, room thermostats will come in different types and shapes. Some come on a desk stand, so you can just stand it down somewhere. Some have to be plugged into the mains. Whichever type you have, first piece of advice, put it in one place and leave it there. Because these thermostats are gonna learn, and if you're moving it around all the time, it makes it almost impossible. So, first thing is, pick a fixed location. Best place, if you can fix it to a wall, then do so and have it 1.5 meters off the floor, not in direct sunlight and not underneath some, a jacket that's gonna hang up or behind a door or anything where you're gonna get a lack of air circulation. We want a good spot, 1.5 off the floor, good air circulation out of direct sunlight. Okay, so that's the first thing. The next thing is different engineers will say, well, you can have it in this room or that room and you know, the, the consensus can, can be different. However, all of our years experience tell us, put the thermostat in the coolest, heatest part, he, coolest heated part of the house. It tends to be a hallway. Basically by heated, I mean it's got a radiator in it. Okay, again, not opposite the radiator, not above the radiator, but in the coolest heated space. Now the idea behind that, you set the thermostat 20 degrees. Now in the coolest room of the house, that will stay cooling for the longest period of time, because it's gonna take that room longer to warm up than any other because it's the coolest room. Now, potentially in all your other rooms, you'll have a thermostatic radiator valve with numbers from like one to six and they vary slightly as well. And the idea is because the heating's gonna be on for the longest period of time, you can go to your thermostat in each of the different rooms and you can turn them from one, you know, one being the coolest, six being the highest. And these are also a, a, a a manual thermostat and they'll sense the temperature of the room and shut the radiators down independently. So even though this is on and the boiler will be putting hot water through the property, if this is set at one and the room is at temperature, that particular radiator will shut off. So that's the fir first thing. Some engineers will say, put it in the lounge because that's where you want to, to be your most comfortable. Downside with putting it in the lounge is where you spend a lot of time. So you're gonna get a lot of heat coming from the bodies that are in there. You know, if you're all sitting there watching TV and there's four of you, you all let off a bit of heat. You may want to put the fire on in the lounge. Tends to be fires in lounges as well. They generate heat. And of course, that room will warm up really quick. Click this off and yet your dining room might be cold. The office might be cold. The bedrooms upstairs will, upstairs will be cold. Um, so that's why I say fix. So, that, so basically the top tips are fixed location, out of direct sunlight, plenty of air, air circulation and in the coolest heated part of the home, um, not tending to be above the radiator or directly opposite. So it does take a little bit of tweaking, but that's the best way to get good control in your home. Okay, if you do need any more expert plumbing and heating advice, do contact us at Orange Glow Energy, uh, and you can find us at www.orangeglowenergy.com. Many thanks.